Today, the museum is delighted to be the site for the announcement of another chapter in contemporary Mississippi sports history. As you can see, we're joined by the presidents and athletic directors of two of our state's most prominent universities, President Martha Saunders and athletic director Richard Giannini, who represent the University of Southern Mississippi, while President Mark Keenum and athletic director Greg Byrne are here on behalf of Mississippi State University. The format is this. Dr. Keenum has an announcement to make, followed by comments from Dr. Saunders, Greg, and Richard in that order. All will be available for your questions, either individually or collectively, after Richard's remarks. So please welcome Dr. Mark Keenum, President of Mississippi State University. First of all, thank you all for being here with us uh, this afternoon for us to have an opportunity, me in particular, have an opportunity to uh, announce the, probably the worst kept secret in the state of Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that uh, our football team, Mississippi State University, the University of Southern Mississippi, will resume playing in 2014. It will be the first ball game between our two schools on the campus of Mississippi State University. It's our intention to have that be our very first game of the season in 2014. And then followed by uh, Mississippi State going down to Hattiesburg to play University of Southern Mississippi in 2015 for the first football game of that season as well. We're very excited to be, uh, resume this uh, competition between these two outstanding university and football programs. I'm a lifelong Mississippi State University football fan. And speaking as a fan, I'm excited. I can remember as a young boy growing up going to many Mississippi State, some of this football games, and the excitement that I had leading up to those games. I can't say I was real pleased at the results of every contest. <laughs> But it was exciting for our fan base and for all of us at our university. So I'm very pleased, again, to be part of this occasion to announce that we are going to resume this home and home series between, again, these two outstanding programs, to have an opportunity to have competition within Mississippi. I can tell you that the competition that we had in Bogdan, Mississippi State, with Jackson State University just a few weeks ago was great. It was great for our fan base and for Jackson State University fans that are on our campus. It's a wonderful day experience for Mississippi. This is also a very good opportunity for us financially, for both of our schools, to be able to keep our dollars in Mississippi. Uh, it's not a very long drive down to Hasbro for our school and for them coming up to start with it. And to be able to bring our fans together, to have camaraderie together, I think is a great opportunity for both of our schools. So again, I want to thank all of you for being here with us uh, as we make this great announcement to resume our competition of football between our two great universities. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Keenum, and thank all of you for coming. I, this is a nice crowd, uh, and uh, it's an exciting day, and one that we certainly anticipated, and you're right, it wasn't a very well-kept secret, even though it wasn't me spilling the beans. Uh, I, I want to thank Dr. Kim uh, for being a man of vision, for a, being a man who loves his state, and for being a man that recognizes that a lot of good football gets played south of I-20. Uh, talk about stimulus package. Picture this. Our stadium's packed with Bulldog and Golden Eagle fans uh, who are cheering their teams on, uh, staying in our hotels, eating in our restaurants, uh, and supporting both of our great universities. So I think it's going to be, it's a great day today to make this announcement. It's going to be a great day in a few years to attend those games. Uh, I'd like to introduce the two fellows who made it all happen, Richard Giannini and Greg Byrne, our athletic directors. Good afternoon. Thanks everybody for coming out here and, and obviously this is a special announcement for our state. And it's a special announcement for football in the state of Mississippi. Obviously there's great passion for intercollegiate football. Also there's great passion for high school football and coming to some of my son's games, uh, there's great passion for middle school football too. <laughs> so obviously there'll be a lot of attention uh, leading up to this. Uh, yeah, there's, some, there's some time between now and then. And uh, we'll be talking some uh, the next few days about some of our future scheduling. But, but for right now, today is the focus on Mississippi State and Southern Miss playing this game again. 
I think it's going to be a great atmosphere. Uh, as Dr. Saunders said, there will be a lot of demand for these tickets. And uh, I think maybe we need to start getting our season ticket packages ready for 2014-15 right now. Uh, but uh, that will be a nice demand. It's a good thing. And we're excited about that. We also, you know, we're, we're Mississippi State University. And we see ourselves as one of the leaders in the state. And we try to do that in, in our approach to scheduling, in our approach to marketing, in our approach to many different areas of our university and our athletic department. And so that's why we thought it was important to have these discussions with Southern Miss. And Richard has been great through the entire process. And that's why we had this, played the game with Jackson State. We've had discussions with all and we've had discussions with Valley about looking at playing them. Because we very much want to embrace the state of Mississippi and everything that we do. Coach Mullen's excited about this opportunity. He thinks it's great from a fan standpoint. He also thinks it's good for recruiting. Uh, to keep as many games in the region as possible, that's a good thing for exposure from the recruiting standpoint as well. And uh, like I said, uh, with this, we have our schedule done now all the way through 2016, and we'll be talking about some of those here in the future. In the future. But the landscape has also changed to where I think you're going to continue to see more regionally-based games. And this is why this made a lot of sense for both of our universities to be involved with. So I uh, look forward to answering any questions here in a little bit. I'd like to turn it over to Richard at this point. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kim and Greg. Uh, we really appreciate this opportunity. And we want to thank uh, you, Michael, and uh, the Sports Hall of Fame that's been so much to this state and what you've done for all of our programs. And we appreciate everyone being here today. Uh, you know, the fans are the real beneficiary of this uh, game. And you can go back to 1981 when over 64,000 people at that time was the largest crowd to ever witness a sporting event in the state of Mississippi uh, when our two institutions played. And, uh, you know, we've had many great games over the years, and, and it really is about the fans. And uh, uh, just like Greg talked about, uh, season tickets now, uh, I'm telling our fans, if you're not a season ticket holder and you're not an Eagle Club contributor, no way you're going to get a ticket to this game. So you better jump on the bandwagon right now. Don't wait till 2014 because that's going to be too late. Uh, but the other thing that Greg said that uh, I think is so important, that rivalries make any sport. And rivalries make this world. And whether it's Coke and Pepsi or uh, McDonald's and uh, Wendy's, uh, competition is what it's all about and rivalries is what it's all about, and that's what the fans really get into. And, and the byproduct of this is going to be the exposure that our programs are going to get uh, from the top to the bottom. And uh, as, as uh, Greg mentioned, you know, it goes all the way down to youth football. And, and by rivalries playing each other, you know, we're protecting the game of football. And for all of us that love the game so much, this is what it's all about. And uh, the great thing about what we're doing is at the end of the 2013 season, and hopefully both programs will be playing in a bowl game, as soon as that bowl game is over, everybody's going to be talking about Mississippi State and Southern Miss opening the season, you know, in, in August or early September. And the media's going to talk about it, the coaches are going to talk about it, uh, the student athletes are going to talk about it. And I know, I've been in this business over 40 years, and I know your student athletes, when they play a big opponent for that first game, they work a lot harder that summer getting ready for that game. So uh, everybody's going to be a win-win in this situation, and it's, uh, it's going to be tremendous. And, and the other thing about it is the economic situation that we've already talked about. I think it's just a win-win for everybody. And, uh, uh, it's going to be great, but uh, our fans can get into it, and uh, it's going to be a real, real great situation for, for our institutions in the state of Mississippi. Again, thank you for being here, and uh, we'll open with any questions that you may have. <laughs>